Well, this year, I would say in the 3D world, what's got to go is the 3D glasses, the, the, uh, particularly the active glasses, which are bulky, expensive, and require batteries that run out. Technologies that are going to replace the, the active glasses, well, the, the passive ones are going to predominate in the short term, and longer term, we've got to get rid of the glasses altogether for 3D to really take off. And this is where I'm very excited to see some of the developments at CES of the multi-view autostereoscopic displays where you don't need to wear any glasses to get the 3D effect. And with the high ultra-high definition that's coming out now, consumers and experts can no longer say that they're making a resolution trade-off.